Welcome to Electro Online. In this video and the next few to come after that, we're going to work with what we call operations with polynomials. What we need to do there is know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide polynomials. Also, sometimes they tell us to simplify an expression like this, which means multiply everything out, collect common terms, and write it in its simplest form. So what we need to do here is multiply this binomial times this trinomial, and then subtract from that this polynomial over there. Again, when they say that, they simply mean collect the terms that are like, or collect like terms. So let's multiply this out and see what we get. That means we multiply each term in the first polynomial with each term in the second polynomial. In other words, we're going to multiply the x times the x squared, times the 3x, and times the 1. And then we take the number 4, multiply it times the x squared, the minus 3x, and the plus 1. And see what we get. So this is equal to x times x squared, which is x cubed, x times minus 3x, which is minus 3x squared, and x times 1 is plus x. 4 times this gives us plus 4x squared, 4 times this is minus 12x, and 4 times 1 is plus 4. Now we're also going to apply this negative sign to everything inside the parentheses here, which means we're going to change the sign what's inside here. This negative times the negative becomes a positive, so this becomes plus 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. The next step now is to go ahead and collect all the common terms. So we look for all the terms that have an x cubed in it. There's two, one here and one there. So 1x cubed plus 5x cubed is 6x cubed. Sometimes it helps to cross out the ones you already have taken account for. So if we cross out this one and cross out this one, we know we don't have to go back to that. Next, we need to collect all the x squared terms minus 3x squared, plus 4x squared, and minus 3x squared. So minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6, plus 4 gives us a minus 2x squared. Again, we cross out the terms we've already accounted for. Now we look for all the terms that have x to the first power. Plus x, minus 12x, plus 4x. So 1 plus 4 is 5, subtract 12 gives us minus 7x. Again, we can cross out all the x to the first terms, and all we have left is numbers. So here we have a plus 4 and a minus 2. 4 minus 2 gives us plus 2. And this is then the simplest form of the expression that we started with. And that's how that's done. 